In this video, I wanted to give a full tutorial on my application DrawSum3. Now basically, it's an application that can turn any video into a slideshow of images, specifically MP4, WebMs, and OGG video files. So I'm going to make this one a little larger. Um, as, as I realized, every video just operates completely different. And when I say that, I mean like the size. Um, it resizes that proportionally for you. So I wanted to make it as forgiving as possible. So you can make it like really large, but preferably you're going to want to make it large enough to be helpful, small enough to be out of the way so that you can reference it in either a drawing program or an animation program. Now, I think DrawSum3 can help both um, because people who draw usually want to show some type of action, like some type of uh, meaningful motion or gesture in their scene. And, you know, I mean, videos are just full of a bunch of different frames to learn from and get that information. I think drawing from static images is good, but imagine having like a massive array to draw from. And that's what uh, DrawSum3 provides. Like in addition to being able to uh, manually go through frames by like clicking these buttons right here, um, you could set it into a more automated mode, i.e. the slideshow mode, which is like the core of <laughs> what DrawSum is um, by playing that. But, you know, you click the button here. Um, and basically, you know, it'll do the countdown. And after the time runs up, um, it'll go to the next frame, of course. Or you could go to the manual one. You could also click the mark images completed button, which will reset the time and go to the next frame. Um, just to say, most like pretty much the number values you, besides this one, which is proportional, uh, these images, these uh, all have a way to for you to click in and change the value itself. So like, you know, basically every every video is has time to it and has frames to it. And um, I use math to get those frames. Um, you know, you could set things like FPS. You could even jump to certain frames that you want to go from. Um, you know, the next frame will operate on when the time runs out. It'll uh, add that to the frame or you can even go behind frames. And like I said, this also affects these as well. Um, you could also play the video as you want to. Um, I did that because maybe you're a person that maybe you're trying to get some type of <coughs> action or feeling. And it, I think it is helpful to maybe, you know, to have the ability to play the video and it will play the audio as well. Uh, just to give a citation, this video is Big Buck Bunny. Have it all here, luckily. Um, they, they, they are basically a people that but they're, you know, they, they released it open source, so anyone could use it. And I think it's the perfect example to, uh, to show, uh, draw some three. Um, I'm also using Tomojis for the images. So yeah, those are the major, uh, those are the major features. Now oh, there's also a button that you can click to change the video. Cause of course you're probably not always going to want to use this video. <laughs> I mean, obviously, probably never. It's just an example that loads when you uh, first start up the application. But yeah, you can change it to any MP4, OGG, or WebM video that you have, which is pretty standard on the web these days. Um, but yeah, those are the main points. And like I said, you could always uh, go back to the first frame if it will do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, so sometimes when you're going back to the first frame, uh, just click any other button um, on the interface to uh, to get back there or to even jump. Yeah, it just, you just have to, you can click literally anything and it'll do that. Or you can just click the button itself when, it, um, when you do that. <coughs> but yeah, those are the major uh, points of draw some three. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. If you have any or concerns, um, I'm always looking to improve my applications. So if you have any suggestions, uh, please feel free to ask, but I'm also trying to keep them, um, simple as possible. Um, it's a desktop application. I think it's pretty lightweight. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening and I appreciate it. If you like this video, like it, 
And if you're interested in what I do and the content that I make, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But yeah, thank you for listening. Bye.